President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania have been tirelessly traveling the globe since Saturday, on their first whirlwind trip overseas. They spent a couple days in Saudi Arabia before heading to Israel yesterday, where they've already left for their next destination in Rome, Italy. The couple just landed there, much to the anticipation of locals there to greet them, when their arrival was interrupted by something else that unexpectedly showed up behind Air Force One after it landed. The presidential pair arrived at 6.38 p.m. local time, fresh in from a successful trip to two Middle Eastern countries where Trump is working hard to build bridges of diplomacy and establish peace. He announced on Tuesday that his efforts to do this are going well, as he heads into Italy to visit the Vatican and the Pope before continuing on to the G7 summit in NATO. All civilized nations must join together to protect human life and the sacred right of our citizens to live in safety and in peace the president said during his travels in the Middle East this week. As Air Force One made its third landing in three days, the president and first lady emerged and stood waving at the top of the stairs to those who came to greet them on the tarmac. To the visitors' complete surprise, was what they saw right behind the presidential aircraft in the distance. As the couple came out of the aircraft, a second Air Force One type plane appeared in the background. Everyone only expected one and some didn't even know there was a fleet of these aircraft which is why it came as quite a surprise. However, that was not all. The leader of the Free Nation is set to meet with the leader of the Catholic Church in what could be a fairly awkward conversation. It will be the first time the two have met in person since their apparent disagreement over immigration and walls to prevent it. Ironically, with as anti-wall as the Pope said he is, there is one which surrounds the Vatican where he and Trump will meet. The Daily Mail reports, Trump meets with Pope Francis at the Vatican on Wednesday. While meetings between the head of the Catholic Church and the President of the United States aren't unusual, a gathering between these two men could be strained over comments each made while President Trump was a candidate. Last February, Pope Francis spoke out against Trump's comments on immigrants. Anyone, whoever he is, who only wants to build walls and not bridges is not a Christian, Pope Francis told reporters. That got Trump steamed, and the GOP hopeful replied, for a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. Like many statements Trump made on the campaign trail last year, his tiff with the Pope was expected to kill his campaign. Trump, however, kept on winning primaries. Unlike his first two destinations on this tour Trump's time in Rome could be filled with an all-too-familiar sight. Like liberals in the U.S., Italians in Rome have planned protests for the president's arrival. An anti-Trump protest is scheduled for Tuesday evening in the capital's Piazza Bologna, the local reported. As Americans living in Rome we felt upset by the election results but also helpless to make any meaningful change from abroad, an organizer from the group American Expats for Positive Change, told the news outlet. When Donald Trump announced his first overseas trip as president would come to Rome we knew that we had a unique opportunity to express our concerns with his administration, organizers of the protest said. It's sad that this is how these expats chose to welcome the leader of the nation they came from. If the American way of life was what they were trying to get away from by moving to Rome, then they shouldn't have brought the disrespect and vitriol there. While they are there protesting his presence, Trump will be continuing on with his mission to perpetuate peace on a global level, which is more than these people can say for their protest. Law enforcement in the area has had to increase substantially because of their demonstration because of the expectation of what these protests inevitably encourage. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.